Embark on an odyssey through the cosmos with Space Sparks, a mind-blowing space mysteries documentary for the curious explorer. Prepare to have your mind expanded as we unravel the enigmatic wonders of the universe. Our universe is filled with countless mysteries and secrets, from the vast expanses of space teeming with galaxies, stars, and planets, to the massive forces that control the very fabric of reality. Let us take you on a fascinating journey to some of the most mind-blowing mysteries in deep space. Embarking from the aftermath of the Big Bang, a monumental explosion that occurred approximately 13.8 billion years ago, we venture into an era where the universe was in its infancy, teeming with high temperatures and dense energy. This initial burst set the stage for the universe's formation, marking the beginning of space and time as we understand them. In the fleeting moments following the Big Bang, the universe was an incredibly hot and dense point. Within fractions of a second, it began expanding at an exponential rate, cooling as it did so, allowing for the formation of the fundamental forces of nature, including gravity, electromagnetism, and the nuclear forces. As the universe expanded and cooled, conditions became ripe for the creation of the first subatomic particles, such as quarks and electrons. These particles, born out of the energy from the Big Bang, eventually combined to form protons and neutrons. The universe, however, was still too hot for these protons and neutrons to combine into atoms. It wasn't until about 380,000 years after the Big Bang, as the universe continued to cool, that protons and neutrons began to combine to form the nuclei of the simplest elements, hydrogen and helium, through a process known as nuclear synthesis. Hydrogen, the most abundant element in the universe, and helium, the second most abundant, were the primary products of this early nuclear synthesis. Trace amounts of lithium were also produced during this period. The creation of these elements set the foundation for the complex chemistry that would eventually lead to the formation of stars, galaxies, and planets. As the universe continued to expand and cool, gravity began to pull together clouds of hydrogen and helium gas, leading to the formation of the first stars. These first stars played a crucial role in the evolution of the universe. Through nuclear fusion in their cores, they forged heavier elements such as carbon, oxygen, and iron. The life cycles of these stars, including their eventual explosion as supernova, dispersed these heavier elements into space, seeding the cosmos with the ingredients necessary for the formation of new stars, planets, and eventually, life itself. The Cosmic Microwave Background Radiation, or CMB, is a faint glow that permeates the universe, offering a snapshot of the cosmos a mere 380,000 years after the Big Bang. This glow is not just a relic of the past, but a treasure trove of insights into the early universe, its composition, and its evolution. The CMB's discovery in the 1960s was a pivotal moment in astrophysics, providing strong evidence for the Big Bang theory. This radiation is the afterglow of the universe's explosive birth stretched and cooled over billions of years as the cosmos expanded. Its uniformity and slight variations tell us a compelling story about the universe's infancy. One of the most fascinating aspects of the CMB is its astonishing uniformity. Across vast expanses of space, the temperature of this radiation is incredibly consistent, about 2.7 Kelvin or minus 270.45 degrees Celsius with minuscule fluctuations. These minute temperature variations are crucial for cosmologists because they represent the seeds from which galaxies, stars, and eventually planets formed. Essentially, these fluctuations in density and temperature underpin the large-scale structure of the universe we observe today. The CMB also serves as a profound probe into the composition of the early universe. By studying its light, scientists can infer the universe's makeup at that time revealing a cosmos filled predominantly with hydrogen and helium, the simplest and most abundant elements. This elemental composition supports theories of nuclear synthesis, predicting how the first elements formed in the universe's nascent moments. The polarization of the CMB light, akin to the way certain sunglasses can block out glare by aligning light waves, offers additional clues about the early universe. Polarization patterns in the CMB can be traced back to gravitational waves rippling through the infant universe, providing indirect evidence for inflation. Inflation is a theory suggesting that the universe underwent an exponential expansion in its first fractions of a second, smoothing out and shaping the universe's structure. Another intriguing insight from the CMB is the glimpse it offers into the nature of dark matter and dark energy, 
mysterious components that constitute most of the universe's mass energy content. The way CMB radiation is scattered and its interaction with matter over cosmic timescales helps cosmologists map out the influence of dark matter in clumping matter together and the role of dark energy in accelerating the universe's expansion. In the wake of the Big Bang, the universe was a formless expanse of energy, primed to evolve into the structured cosmos we observe today. This transition from chaos to order was governed by the emergence and shaping of the laws of physics, fundamental principles that dictate the behavior of the universe. Initially, in the universe's first moments, temperatures were unimaginably high, and the four fundamental forces of nature, gravity, electromagnetism, the strong nuclear force, and the weak nuclear force, were unified. As the universe cooled, these forces began to separate, a process pivotal to the formation of the cosmos as we know it. The first to split was the strong nuclear force, responsible for holding the nuclear of atoms together. This separation set the stage for the formation of the first subatomic particles, including quarks and electrons, mere fractions of a second after the Big Bang. As the universe continued to expand and cool, quarks coalesced to form protons and neutrons, the building blocks of atoms. This period, known as the quark epoch, was crucial for determining the amount and types of matter that would dominate the universe. Following this, the universe entered the electroweak epoch, where the electromagnetic and weak nuclear forces distinguished themselves. This differentiation was vital for the creation of various types of particles and antiparticles, and for the processes that led to the predominance of matter over antimatter in the universe. Without this asymmetry, matter and antimatter would have annihilated each other, leaving the universe devoid of the galaxies, stars, and planets we see today. As the universe aged, it cooled sufficiently for the first atoms to form, a phase known as recombination, occurring around 380,000 years after the Big Bang. This was a pivotal moment as it allowed photons, particles of light, to travel freely for the first time, creating the cosmic microwave background radiation, a snapshot of the universe at that time. The laws of physics, particularly electromagnetism, played a crucial role in this process dictating how electrons and nuclei combine to form neutral atoms. Gravity, the weakest but most far-reaching force, began to sculpt the large-scale structure of the universe during this period. Regions slightly denser than their surroundings began to collapse under their own gravity, forming the first stars and galaxies. This gravitational clustering is a process that continues to shake the cosmos, driving the formation of galaxy clusters and superclusters. Over billions of years, the interplay of these forces under the laws of physics facilitated the evolution of the universe from a hot, dense state to the vast and very cosmos we observe today. Elements formed in the hearts of stars were scattered into space by a supernova, seeding the cosmos with the building blocks of new stars, planets, and eventually life. The laws of physics, emergent in the aftermath of the Big Bang, not only dictated the creation and behavior of the universe's fundamental particles, but also guided the evolution of the cosmos from simplicity to complexity. Galaxy Formation and Evolution As we delve deeper into the mysteries of the cosmos, the process of galaxy formation and evolution stands as a cornerstone of modern astrophysics, offering a window into the dynamic bullet of matter under the influence of gravity in an expanding universe. This narrative unfolds over billions of years, Tracing back to the subtle fluctuations in the density of matter shortly after the Big Bang, which we've seen imprinted in the cosmic microwave background radiation. The story begins in the primordial soup of the early universe, a nearly uniform field peppered with slight overdensities. These overdensities, though minuscule, were the seeds of all future structures in the universe. Under the relentless pull of gravity, regions of higher density began to attract more matter, growing increasingly larger and denser. This gravitational accretion was the first step in the long journey of galaxy formation. As these regions pulled in more gas and dark matter, a mysterious form of matter that does not emit, absorb, or reflect light but exerts gravitational effects on visible matter, they began to collapse under their own gravity. This collapse led to the formation of dark matter halos, invisible scaffolds around which visible matter could clump together. Within these dark matter halos until the conditions became ripe for the birth of stars, over time these early galaxies began to evolve and interact. Some merged, pooling their stars and gas to form larger galaxies, while others were torn apart by gravitational forces. This era of cosmic evolution was chaotic, 
marked by frequent collisions that spurred bursts of star formation, known as starbursts, which shake the galaxy's structures and compositions. Galaxy evolution is also a tale of internal change. Stars within galaxies live their lives on timescales ranging from millions to billions of years, depending on their masses. Massive stars burn through their nuclear fuel rapidly, ending their lives in supernova explosions that seed the galaxy with heavier elements. These elements, in turn, become the building blocks of new stars and planets, enriching the galaxy and influencing future generations of stars. Meanwhile, the supermassive black holes that lurk at the centers of most, if not all, large galaxies also play a crucial role in shaping their host galaxies. As these black holes accrete matter, they can emit vast amounts of energy, influencing star formation across the galaxy. Through these processes, galaxies grow and evolve, their shapes and sizes reflecting their histories of formation, interaction, and internal processes. As we explore the cosmos, supermassive black holes emerge as cosmic architects, exerting a profound influence on the galaxies they inhabit. Lurking at the heart of nearly every large galaxy, these colossal entities, with masses ranging from millions to billions of times that of our Sun, play a key role in shaping the evolution and characteristics of galaxies. Supermassive black holes are not just cosmic oddities, they are central players in the galactic narrative. Their gravitational pull can dictate the motion of stars and gas clouds within a galaxy, influencing its overall structure and dynamics. But their influence extends beyond mere gravitational sway. As material spirals into a supermassive black hole, it heats up and emits intense radiation across the electromagnetic spectrum, from radio waves to X-rays. This radiation can have far-reaching effects on the galaxy's environment. One of the most dramatic impacts of supermassive black holes is their role in regulating star formation within galaxies. The process, known as feedback, occurs when the energy released by the black hole as it accretes matter heats up and disperses the surrounding gas clouds that would otherwise collapse to form new stars. This feedback mechanism can quench star formation, effectively halting the growth of the galaxy. It's a delicate balance. Too much activity from the black hole can blow away the galaxy's gas, starving it of the material needed for future stars, while too little can lead to unchecked star formation, dramatically altering the galaxy's character. The interaction between supermassive black holes and their host galaxies is a dynamic dance. The growth of these black holes is closely linked to the evolution of their galaxies. Observations suggest a correlation between the mass of a supermassive black hole and the properties of its host galaxy's bulge, the dense group of stars at the galaxy's center. This relationship implies that the growth of black holes and galaxies is interconnected, possibly through cycles of gas accretion and star formation regulated by the black hole's feedback. In addition to their role in regulating star formation, supermassive black holes can also drive the formation of galactic structures. For example, jets of material ejected at near-light speeds from the poles of actively accreting black holes can carve out vast cavities in the intergalactic medium, influencing the distribution of gas and the formation of galaxy clusters. Supermassive black holes also contribute to the cosmic ecosystem through their dramatic end-of-life events. When galaxies merge, a common occurrence in the cosmic history, their central black holes can eventually collide and merge, releasing vast amounts of energy in the form of gravitational waves. These ripples in the fabric of spacetime can provide insights into the fundamental laws of physics and the violent processes at the heart of galaxy evolution. The first stage in the life cycle of a star is its birth, which occurs in nebulae, immense clouds of gas and dust. Within these nebulae, regions of higher density, aided by the gravitational pull of existing matter, begin to collapse under their own gravity. As the gas clumps together, it heats up, and when the core of this collapsing cloud reaches a sufficient density and temperature, nuclear fusion ignites. This fusion process marks the birth of a new star, converting hydrogen into helium and releasing energy in the form of light and heat. This is how a star enters the main sequence phase of its life, a period of stability where it spends most of its existence balancing the outward pressure of nuclear fusion with the inward pull of gravity. The next stages in a star's life depend on its mass. Medium-sized stars, like our Sun, will swell into red giants as they exhaust their hydrogen fuel and begin to fuse helium into heavier elements like carbon and oxygen. Eventually, these stars shed their outer layers into space, 
creating beautiful objects known as planetary nebulae. What remains is the core, which collapses into a white dwarf, a dense, hot remnant that slowly cools and fades over billions of years. For more massive stars, the journey is even more dramatic. After burning through their initial hydrogen, they progress to fusing heavier elements, ultimately leading to iron in their cores. Fusion stops at iron because fusing iron consumes more energy than it releases, leading to a catastrophic collapse of the star's core. This collapse triggers a supernova explosion, an event so powerful it can briefly outshine an entire galaxy. Supernovae are crucial for element formation, as they produce and scatter many of the heavier elements beyond iron throughout the cosmos. The remnants of these explosions can form either a neutron star, an incredibly dense object composed mostly of neutrons, or if the star was sufficiently massive, a black hole, a point in space where gravity is so strong that not even light can escape. Stars, through their life cycles, are the universe's forges, creating and distributing the elements that make up worlds and life itself. Every atom of carbon, oxygen, and iron in our bodies was formed in the heart of a star or in the fiery blast of a supernova, linking us intimately to the cosmos. Supernova, neutron stars, and black holes represent some of the most dramatic and significant phenomena, each playing a unique role in the universe's evolution and in our understanding of physics. These celestial events and objects are not only fascinating in their own right, but also crucial for the synthesis of elements and the structure of the cosmos. Supernovae are the spectacularly explosive deaths of stars, events so bright they can momentarily outshine entire galaxies. They occur in two main scenarios, either at the end of a massive star's life when its core collapses under the force of its own gravity, or through the accumulation of material by a white dwarf from a companion star, leading it to exceed a critical mass and undergo a thermonuclear explosion. Supernovae play a critical role in the cosmos by dispersing elements heavier than iron into space. These elements, forged in the heart of stars or during the supernova explosion itself, are essential for the creation of planets and life. The energy released by supernovae also influences the structure of the surrounding interstellar medium, triggering star formation in some regions while dispersing gas and dust in others. Neutron stars are one of the possible remnants of supernovae explosions, formed when the core of a massive star collapses to such an extent that protons and electrons combine to form neutrons. These objects are incredibly dense, with a mass comparable to that of the Sun, but packed into a sphere only about 20 kilometers in diameter. Neutron stars possess intense gravitational and magnetic fields, with some emitting regular pulses of radiation as pulses. These pulses serve as cosmic lighthouses and have been used by astronomers to probe the universe's properties including testing theories of gravity and measuring cosmic distances. Black holes, the most mysterious of these cosmic phenomena, form when the core of a supermassive star collapses under its gravity, creating a point in space where the gravitational pull is so strong that not even light can escape. Their existence was predicted by Einstein's theory of general relativity, and they have been the subject of intense study ever since. Black holes play a significant role in the dynamics of galaxies, Supermassive black holes at the centers of galaxies regulate star formation and galaxy evolution through their gravitational influence and the energetic processes associated with accretion of matter. The significance of supernova, neutron stars, and black holes extends beyond their role in cosmic element synthesis and structure formation. The laws of physics, emergent in the aftermath of the Big Bang, not only dictated the creation and behavior of the universe's fundamental particles, but also guided the evolution of the cosmos from simplicity to complexity. Galaxy formation and evolution, as we delve deeper into the mysteries of the cosmos, the process of galaxy formation and evolution stands as a cornerstone of modern astrophysics, offering a window into the dynamic bullet of matter under the influence of gravity in an expanding universe. This narrative unfolds over billions of years, tracing back to the subtle fluctuations in the density of matter shortly after the Big Bang, which we see imprinted in the cosmic microwave background radiation. This gravitational accretion was the first step in the long journey of galaxy formation. As these regions pulled in more gas and dark matter, a mysterious form of matter that does not emit, absorb, or reflect light, but exerts gravitational effects on visible matter, they began to collapse under their own gravity. This collapse led to the formation of dark matter halos, 
invisible scaffolds around which visible matter could clump together. Within these dark matter halos, gas clouds continued to collapse, heating up as they densified, until the conditions became ripe for the birth of stars. This marked the emergence of the first galaxies, simple and small, compared to the vast spiral and elliptical galaxies we observe today. Over time, these early galaxies began to evolve and interact. Some merged, pooling their stars and gas to form larger galaxies, while others were torn apart by gravitational forces. This era of cosmic evolution was chaotic, marked by frequent collisions that spurred bursts of star formation, known as starbursts, which shaped the galaxy's structures and compositions. Galaxy evolution is also a tale of internal change. Stars within galaxies live their lives on timescales ranging from millions to billions of years, depending on their masses. Massive stars burn through their nuclear fuel rapidly, ending their lives in supernova explosions that seed the galaxy with heavier elements. These elements, in turn, become the building blocks of new stars and planets, enriching the galaxy and influencing future generations of stars. Meanwhile, the supermassive black holes that lurk at the centers of most, if not all, large galaxies also play a crucial role in shaping their host galaxies. As these black holes accrete matter, they can emit vast amounts of energy, influencing star formation across the galaxy. Through these processes, galaxies grow and evolve, their shapes and sizes reflecting their histories of formation, interaction, and internal processes. Stay in touch for next informative part of video about mysteries of space. Thanks for joining us on this cosmic journey. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Space Sparks for more mind-bending revelations about the mysteries of space. Let's keep exploring together.